Hey guys, so today we're going to go through another problem, uh, another JavaScript problem. Um, so yeah, let's let's get into it. So this problem is called Wiper Temperatures. So it says you are given two arrays that each contain data that represent the min and max weather temperatures for each of the week. The record records array contains the all time record low uh, and the record high for that day of the week. The current week array contains the daily low and high temp for each of the current week. Okay. The daily high temperature is considered a new record if it's higher than the record high for that day of the week. The daily low temperature is considered a new record low if it is lower than the record low for that day of the week. Compare the daily low and high temperatures of the current week to the record low and high temperatures uh, and return the array with the updated record temperatures. There may be more multiple there may be multiple record temperatures in a week. If there are no broken records, return the original record array. Okay, so like we're given, so it looks like we're given, uh, we have we have an array of records for the week. So this is this is this is an array that contains uh, entries for the daily records of the week. So uh, here we have an array of for, for Sunday that represents the daily low of 34 and the daily high of 82. These are all records for Sunday. And on Monday we have a an array where the daily low record is 24 and the daily high record for Monday is 82. All right, and so this this goes on all the way you know, for the entire week. So and then the second part of it is we have like a regular weeks array. So this is the, the weeks array, I believe, right? Yeah, so we give them a records array and then the current weeks, a current week an array. Right, so the current week array has whatever the temperature is for the current week. So for, for this Sunday, the current temperature, the current temperature low is 44, the current temperature high is 72. Uh, and so what we want to do is we want to compare the current week temperature lows and highs with the record temperature highs and lows. And once we compare them, we want to see if a new record has been met. So in this case, 72 for Sunday was the high. It was not as high as the record high. So nothing needs to happen. 44 was the the high, sorry, the low for, for Sunday, and the record low for Sunday is 34. And so really it broke no records here, so we don't do anything. Um, we go over here, the record low for Monday was 24, the record high for Monday was 82. Uh, the record, oh, sorry, the high for Monday was 70 degrees, and the record low for Monday was 19 degrees. So in this case, we did uh, have a record low temperature or a record temperature and it happened to be on the low side, 19 degrees versus the 24 at the record held. And so we have a new record. And so when we have a new record, we're going to replace uh, the 24 with the 19, right? And because there was no record high here, uh, 82 stays the same. So we're going to continue doing this until um, until we've gone through every single day of the week and compared it with the record temperature for that week. And if there are any records broken, we're going to replace the record high uh, with the new high uh, that was set for that week. All right. So so yeah, that's that's the problem. It's fairly fairly straightforward. And then at the end, what we're doing, we're returning. Uh, so once we once we compared the daily records with the current week, um, we're going to return at the end of it. We're going to return an array. Uh, we're going to return an array. We're going to return the records array 
with the new updated records uh, for that for that week. Cool. And as we can see here, the, 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 some notes here it says they won't be any record high, record low set on the same day. Index zero will always be the low, and index one will always be the high. Okay, it looks like we don't need to do any conversion with the temperatures. Cool. So first thing we'll do, we, let's try to let's, let's console log what we're what we're given, right? We're given give an array of records. So we give an array that contains arrays of entries for the day, for the week of lows and highs, record lows and highs. So we have an array, we have array of, of, of we have an array of arrays, right? So that, that's important to keep in mind. And each array represents the daily record low and record high set for that particular day. Okay. And then we have the same thing for the current week. Let's just console on that as well. Yep, same thing here. An array of arrays where each single uh, array entry represents the current day in the week. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and so forth. Um, and whatever the current low and high from Monday was, is here as well. So again, we're comparing the current day of the week with uh, the records set for that day in the week. So the, so the current day in the week, current low in temperature, current high in temperature for that day in the week, we're comparing that with the record high for that day in the week and record low in the week. And if there are any records set, then we're replacing uh, the records array with the new entries. Okay. So the first thing we want to do is to understand the problem. Right. And I think we've, we've gone through it two arrays, a records array and a current week array and going through every single day in the week uh, and checking the temperature lows and the temperature highs and if any of those temperature lows and temperature highs um, exceed the record highs then we're replacing uh, the record highs uh, with those for the current week right so we have new records set and so we're, we're, we're updating the records array with those new records So let's let's let some let's kind of write this out. Let's write out how um, what we need to do so we have a better understanding of it. So given two arrays that represent the temp records for the week and current temp for the week. We want to compare the current temp for that day in the week with the record set for that day in the week. And if a new record is made, then we're going to return an array. So if a new rec if a new record is made, then we're going to replace the array entry in the records array with the new updated 
above or high. Okay. Cool. So we understand the problem. We've written it out. Um, let's devise a plan on how we're going to do this. And remember, a plan has absolutely no code. It's basically describing what it's going to describe what we're going to be doing with our code. So it's basically like the verbal version of what our code is going to be doing, essentially. So, so yeah, let's get into the plan. So let's see, we're going to iterate through both both we're gonna we're gonna iterate through the current week and records set for that week and for each day in the week so each day would be I guess the index so each day so this is what we represent each day right so each day being the index and we're going to see if we're going to see if the current we're going to sorry we're going to check if the current day low is lower than the. We want to do the same. Uh, for, right. So we're going to iterate through the current week and the records set for the week. So we iterate through them. We iterate through each single, each single one, each single day of the week, right? And both. Uh, the, the current week and the, and the records, right? So for each single day, we're, we're going to iterate through them, and we're going to see if the current day is lower is lower than the record low, right? And we're going to do the same thing for the high. And if a new record is set, set, then we're going to replace the record array with the new record set. And if no record has been met, then we're going to move to the next day. And we're going to repeat the steps above. Okay. And then Yes, finally, once we've gone through all the days in the week, so once we've finished iterating, iterating through all the days, we're going to return the new records. Right, we're going to return new records. And possibly there could be absolutely no records, so all the the days, uh, the temperature lows and highs for the week could possibly just be, you know, within within the range of, of, of the record lows and highs. In that case, it would just be the same record array. But in the case that there are records set on a particular day of the week, we're going to update the record array with that new record temperature, high or low. Okay, so this is our plan. This is our plan. Um, so we're going to iterate to the current week and the records set for that week, right? So we iterate through, and then we're going to check to see if the current day low is lower than the record low. Uh, if it is, then we're going to replace the new records array with the new record. If there's no records being met, then we're just going to move on, uh, right? And then once we're finished, going through 
every single day of the week, we're going to return our new records array. Okay, so this is our plan. Now we go to step that I'm sure most of you have been waiting for, which is we're going to implement the plan, which is code. So we did, we're going to look at our plan. So we're iterating through the current week, current, current week, and we're going to be looking at the records for that week at the same time. So we're going to be iterating through each day in the week. So we can do a for loop for that, right? And because the current week and the records uh, they, they, they all represent the same number of days in the week. So, you know, they, they're both going to have uh, the same subarrays, uh, the number of subarrays. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So we're going to be iterating through the length of, of the array. And it doesn't matter which one we do because they both represent the same number of days. But in this case, let's just do the current week. So this will take us through iterating through, um, through the week. And we want to check, right? We want to do, we want to do a check. We want to see, we want to check if the current day low is lower than the record low, right? So current. Day low represent this. So this would be represent the current day, right? And then if we want to, if we want to, you know, capture. So we want to check the low temperature, and we also want to check the temperature on the high side. And in our instructions, you know. It says that index zero will always be the low, right? The temperature low, and index one will always be the high. So as we're going through each single day of the week, we want to check the temperature low and we want to check temperature high. So the temperature low is going to be zero, right? So this is literally going to target like this number here, and this number, and this number, and this number, and this number, right? So we want to check if current day low um, is it less than what we have as our record low okay. and if indeed the current week's low is less than the record low then that means we set a new record low temperature so in that case we want to replace the new, we want to replace the record low with the new week low. Well, with the new low set for the week. All right, so again, here we're already doing, we're checking if the current day low is lower than the record low. All right, current day low, is it less than the record low? If it is, that means we've set a new record low temperature. So in that case, we want to go and we want to update the new temperature, the new record low temperature in the records array. All right, so that's what we're doing there. And we're going to do the same thing um, we're going to do, do the exact same thing for the record, for the record high, right? Except the record high will be at index number one, right? Would be, would be over here. So exact same thing, we need to copy this code, do the exact same thing, but the only thing we're doing is we're going to replace, we're going to replace um, indice one, and we're going to have 
instead of less than, it will be greater than because we're checking the temperature higher. Okay, and if the high temperature for the current week for that day in the week, if it is more than the record temperature set for that day in the week, then we're going to replace uh, we're going to replace the the new temperature, the new record temperature in the records uh, array. And then the final thing we do is once we finish iterating through all the days in the week, we're going to return our new records array. Right, we're going to return our new array, our new records array. Cool. So hopefully, hopefully this this makes sense. So again, just to recap, we're iterating through every single day in the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we're, we're iterating through every single day in the week and we're, and we're checking, we're checking to see if the current week's temperature low and the current week's temperature high, right? If they, they, if they indeed uh, are, are higher in the case of the record high, or if, if they are lower than the record low set. And if indeed they are, then we're replacing the record temperature low with the new low set for the current week. And if the current temperature high for the day is indeed higher than the record high set for that day, then we'll replace on that in the records array set for that particular day of the week. And then at the end, we're just returning the records array with the new temperatures, uh, record temperatures uh, that were set for that particular week, if there were indeed any. All right, cool. So, so that's how, let, let's check it out. Let's try and see the way. Let's get rid of this. Uh, record, oh, yeah, it should be records array. Right, I think that'll be yes, yeah. Records array, yeah. Can we, can we, can we use all right? Okay, let's try that. Sweet, so it works. Cool. So, like, another thing, thing I like about Edivir is you can actually see once you do actually have implemented your code, you can check to see other solutions, which is really cool. Um, and you can upvote some pretty interesting solutions that you think are, are pretty pretty cool. Some of these are good. Um, some of these they try to you know put everything in one line of code. Yeah, that's fancy and everything, and sometimes it may make sense. But honestly, when you're working in a code base with a team, you want to optimize for uh, the most like, legible piece of code, uh, code that's that's under really easy to understand. Um, so. So yeah, um, yeah. Hopefully this, this was helpful. Um, let me know what you what you guys think. Um, any feedback? Um, you know, what were some of the ways that you tried to implement this? How did you think about the problem? Um, yeah, let me know. Let me know your thoughts. And yeah, if you did like this video, uh, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time.